Hi everybody, welcome back to Pro Tools music production course here at educator.com. This is the last unit of this entire chapter in music production. We're going to talk about clip gain. In this lesson you will be learning one of the new features in Pro Tools 10 called clip gain, editing clip gain and more. Clip gain works differently than volume automation and makes it certainly very easy to adjust volumes in many occasions in between clips. So what is clip gain? Clip gain lets you change the volume of a clip with a fader icon on the left bottom part of each clip. You also get a visual indicator to see the size of the changes, volume changes in your clips. This is one of the new exciting features. Again, if you're running one of the older version of Pro Tools before 10, uh, just still listen to it whenever you upgrade it to the new version. You will definitely uh, like the clip base gain feature. Um, I'd like to zoom in to show you first of all this little icon called Clip Gain Viewer right here. Um, basically we can click on it to make adjustments on the entire clip. You see my waveform gets thinner or thicker and this would work completely different. Uh, yeah, I did control option minus to go to the volume automation which is cool because I do have a volume automation here too which I'm about to I'm about to uh, also uh, work with my clip uh, gain and I will also automate with the clip gain which is going to be kind of a cool so first thing first uh, there is a shortcut I'd like to talk about. Most of the clip uh, based gain features get the uh, control shift uh, as the shortcut. So control shift equals will turn off and makes the uh, it will makes the uh, it will make the uh, icon go away. Our clip gain viewer will go away with control shift equals or plus sign on the alpha keyboard. Another thing we can talk about, let's zoom it a little bit. This is minus 150 dB. If you option click, just like in a volume fader that we would do, we would go to zero decibel. Again, another thing we talked about many times, uh, applying on a volume faders or plug-in uh, parameters, that if you hold down command and go up and down, you would actually apply changes with a smaller uh, movements. This is another thing to talk about. And then the next thing we're going to mention is the clip gain line. Let's zoom out a little bit on the entire thing and we go to the view menu bar and we have clip right here. When we go to this clip gain line under the clip option, right here under view menu bar. That's how we get it. Once we uh, turn this function on, as you see, I have a um, line here, which is called clip gain line. So there are many things that we can do here. I'm already on a grabber tool that I could select an area with in between two dots, get my trimmer tool to increase that area or decrease the volume of that area all these um, operations actually uh, can be undo. And then another thing that we can do here, we can make an, uh, let's undo everything that we did. Uh, we can use again shift control and dash this time to bring the uh, clip gain line or get rid of the clip gain line. That's the one shortcut with the clip gain line we need to know.